Let's go. My name is Jinja aka Kamikaze. I'm a freestyle basketballer. I've been freestyling for 18 years now. I started in Canada, moved back to Japan when I was 20. Ever since, I'm trying to become a professional freestyler and right now, that's what my job is. Well, actually, we're in Shibuya. Of course, everyone knows it's one of the center part of Tokyo. And I do this thing called freestyle basketball. And a lot of the street performance, street culture is rooted in Shibuya. I was born in Japan, but I moved to Canada when I was 14, uh, actually 15. And I discovered N1 street ball. I think N1 was really big back then. And in N1 mixtape, they had this part called freestyle basketball part. And ever since the first time I saw that, it was kind of like a new art for me, you know? It wasn't about winning or losing, it was more about expressing yourself with one basketball. Like, I'm maybe one of the first or second generation to become like a professional freestyle basketballer. There's not a lot of them yet. So I think this is a real, really new culture. So I think you really have to have like your style, what you want to do, what kind of performance you want to do. If you don't have that, you'll end up with nothing, you know, because no one's going to save you or there's no company. You always have to create. Let's go. Uh, the main crossing of Shibuya. I'm pretty sure a lot of people have seen this spot on movies and TVs and stuff. This is like the symbol of Shibuya, maybe the symbol of Tokyo. Well, a lot of people think you can't make a li living out of it. You know, like when I started, I was a high school student. Even my basketball coach told me this won't take me to anywhere. You know, like you shouldn't just do tricks. You should play basketball. Freestyle basketball won't take you to anywhere. A lot of people kind of underestimate freestyle basketball, you know, like it's just because they don't, they never seen it or they don't know it. So they just kind of judge it. But ever since I started, I was believing myself that they, this could be a job or a profession that you can make money out of or you can live as a freestyle basketballer. As a homeless when I came back to Japan. And I think that was, at first it was really tough, but like since you go down, to like homeless and just like performing on the streets and sleeping on the streets you kind of notice that there's no bottom or there's like nothing under you anymore you know like because you got no money you, got, you don't even have a house and stuff so for me starting off as a homeless was a big plus because at that time I kind of knew who I was the first time like I kind of noticed who I am at that moment so it feels like it's not a sport anymore, you know, it's more near to art for me. It's just like the ball is a painting brush and you're just kind of painting at that moment. And you know, it's not about winning or losing. It's an expression with one ball and that will be always my message. And I think a lot of people can feel that, you know, because I feel like a ball is always used for sport. But it's 2022, we got the internet and all these kind of stuff. I think there's something more we can do with one ball and I think one of that is art.